Hi, my name's Claudia and I love books. And as you can see, I've got quite a lot of bookcases and I'm here to show you how to make them look more built in by filling in the extra holes that are left behind when you've put your shelves in, but also filling in the really tricky underneath side of the brackets that hold the shelves up. And then also, there's another set here that I've painted in. I recently went to a book sale and I got a whole bunch of books, but then I realized I ran out of space. So I recently purchased two new bookshelves from Ikea, which my lovely other half helped me build. And what we're gonna do is fill in the extra holes from the shelves after they're put in. And what you'll need is either Elmer's wood filler in white. Don't get the one that's pink and then dries white because I tried that and it actually dried pink and then we had to paint over it. So it was a nightmare. Just get the ones that are either wood filler in white from Elmer's or this one I saw at Rona. It's Le Page. Don't know how to say it. Le Page. I'm trying to be fancy here. Wood filler in white. And what you're gonna do is just get either um, a scraper that you might have from an old project or just like a credit card, something that you don't mind getting dirty. Um, you'll also need some paint brushes and then you can use white acrylic paint or I have old paint from when we painted the house. I saved some extra Benjamin Moore trim semi-gloss paint in a jar. This is probably six to eight years old and it's just stayed, stayed the way it is without drying up. Or you can just ask um, a paint store to mix you up some Simply White, which is a good shade for the Billy bookcases um, from Benjamin Moore. I think this cost about $16, which you can then use to touch up baseboards. Um, and then this is just a small example of saving extra paint behind or even from a friend um, if they're using white paint that you can use to cover up the holes. So the first thing you wanna do is mark out which holes you're not filling because that would be a terrible mistake. Um, so my existing bookshelves, the shelf is right here, which I know um, the bracket that goes in to hold up the shelf will go in this one. And so I'll just place it here for now. And then that gives me a marker of which holes to fill. So you'll just go in and you'll start to fill in the hole. But as you'll see, you'll fill in the hole and it'll only partially fill because of how deep it is. So you will have to go back once this is dried two to four hours and just keep filling it in because it's gonna set and then there'll be a little bit of a divot, which you'll just go back and keep filling and filling. You could do it about two to three times. So it's quite a bit of work, but afterwards it'll be perfection. So once these holes have had their chance to dry, we're gonna go back in and start to fill in some more because when it sets, it actually dries and solidifies so you get a little bit more space to fill in with more filler. And then let that dry again. Depending on the um, how much filler is in there, you might have to do two or three applications. So once all your holes have been filled two to three times with the wood filler so that it is flush against the surface, you'll go in with your paint and you'll just lightly dab a bit of paint on top of those holes to cover them up even, even better. Just because when they're not painted over, you can still see the edging of the MDF underneath, but when you paint it over, 
they're less obvious. So I would do two coats of paint. So with these brackets that hold the shelves up, you can tell that they're quite unattractive and, and look very harsh. So what you can do is grab um, a piece of styrofoam from like a box that you get in shipment or um, from an appliance and you can use this to stuff the brackets in so that they're propped up when you're painting them because it can be very painstaking to have to paint them while you're holding them in your hand. So if you just line them up like little soldiers, you'll be able to paint them without them moving. That's what I do. And then if you grab your paint, and I've just transferred my paint into a little lid from a um, oat milk carton, um, just because it's easier. If you drop this, there's less of a mess, but if you drop a whole can of paint, that's just a nightmare. All right, so then we just lightly paint. And the only part of these little brackets that you need to paint are the parts that you will see underneath the shelf. And it'll be seamless when they're white as opposed to the harsh metal. And it'll just look more built in. So these will probably need about two to three coats. And I just let it dry about two hours so that it's not too too wet on the next coat and it can be tacky a little bit, that's fine. Of course, if you've got someone who has a drill press, they can um, drill press into a spare bit of wood and then you can drop these in and they will hold just as well. So you just keep doing that and you'll do that for all of the brackets. Okay, so um, one of the other pieces that need painting are these, I don't even know what they're called. They're, they're like these round brackets, drills, screws, screws thank you. <laughs> these screws will need to be painted white, okay? You just kind of go around it, but I just paint these and I do about two to three coats. And the end result I'll show you over here will be one of those. And it just blends in with the bookshelf so you don't see it as much. And when you're finished, it'll look like this where you can't actually see the holes and the little brackets that have been painted white will blend in with the background of the bookcases. Now I've got books in front so most of these holes are covered but in some places they do appear and having them filled and painted just makes it look more cohesive and lovely and seamless. I don't have a mirror, right? 